for denial the past couple of years trying to straddle the line between contender and contender. You know, last year they didn't move Dan Hamus and they didn't move Adam Rubata at the deadline. But this year they moved Burroughs, they moved Andy Canson, um, you know, didn't move Ryan Miller, but there wasn't a great market for goaltending this year from what I've been told. Um, so it, it didn't really surprise me there. Uh, but at the same time, if I'm Canucks fans, I'm happy. You did get a good prospect in Dolan, and uh, I think you're moving in the right direction finally. You're finally acknowledging, you know what, we're not a good team. We have a few good prospects, but we have to start over. Um, and to me, what, what, what's really interesting about that is now we know this franchise is rebuilding. So what does that mean for the Sedins, especially next year? That's going to be a fun discussion um, as the trade deadline approaches next season. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. Uh, 15 minutes past the hour now, talking with Matt Larkin on the big show, TSN 1290. Matt, the goaltending situation here in Winnipeg seems to be, and that's why the piece of the article, sorry, I didn't, I, I just assumed it was you that, that wrote it, but it was a great piece talking about uh, the 